Hi fellow plant people and welcome back. If you are returning and coming over from the previous video that I posted about repotting some of my Hoya, glad that you stuck around. If you're just finding me here, please feel free to check out that video. Um, this is kind of a companion video to the first one that I posted uh, regarding um, repotting some Hoya that I had uh, ordered from Glasshouse Works and they ended up being unrooted cuttings. And so check out that video to see how that turned out. This one though, I wanted to just show you. It's, it's a big show and tell video. I just wanna show you some of my Hoya that I had purchased kind of in close succession from a new company for me. Um, the company is Secret Garden Rare Plants. I think they're based in Florida and they do Hoya and they do Hoya pretty darn well. So really the point of this video is to show you just kind of how they're doing. And some of them do have quite a bit to share. Some of them I don't think I've shown on this channel yet, so they'll be brand new to you. I wanna share kind of what's been growing since I've got them and kind of what's behind my decision to potentially or not repot them right now. Um, there are a few that I'm looking at here uh, that I'm probably going to end up repotting soon uh, and I'm weighing some pros and cons as to why. As I'm sitting here looking at them I have some ideas uh, but that's really what the goal is today. So let's just kind of get an overview and then I'm going to show you these guys individually and how they're growing. So everybody here is my little catered selection of Hoya uh, that I'm showing you today. All of these have been purchased from uh, Secret Garden Rare Plants within the past couple of months maximum. I would say July is probably when I found Secret Garden and placed my first order with them. And I have not regretted that. <laughs> at all. Um, the only thing I will say about Secret Garden is that their prices are a little bit high, uh, specifically for some of these smaller plants. And for example, I'll just show you this one. So this is a wish list plant for me. This is Hoya elliptica. It's also known as the turtle shell or the tortoise shell Hoya because of the markings on the leaves. And as you can see, this is not a big plant and it does not have a small price tag. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna own up to the fact that I paid almost $100 for this cutting of a Hoya elliptica. And I will say that the photo on the website looked a little bit bigger than what I ended up with which is fine. I mean, there's some variety in size and in appearance to be expected when you order online, any plant online. Um, but yeah, a little bit smaller. I kind of immediately panicked when I unboxed it. Uh, but as you can see, so when it came to me, it had these two leaves. This one was kind of developing. It, it's developed a little bit weird, probably just from the stress of, of travel. But we do have this little growth point that's pretty active. So Hoya elliptica is at least showing me some evidence that it's gonna continue to grow a little bit for the, for the growth season that remains here. I'm gonna kind of go through these one by one and just show you what has changed since I've gotten the plants and any new growth, if that's at all relevant or if that's happening. But yeah, this is my little, my little Hoya collection from Secret Garden and it's not, it's not done. I still have some Hoyas on order, <laughs> so that's that. But let's just, let's get into these little plants. I'll, I'll give you a closer look at each of them. 
So next one I wanted to show you came to me as Hoya Pupicalix White Dragon. And I did learn um, kind of in the in the weeks, you know, since ordering it and after um, unboxing it on camera and doing some research for my video, um, that this is now called Hoya Salata. It's its own species separate from the Pubicalyx species. Um, so Hoya Salata is the new, the new taxonomy for this guy, but it was a pretty strong plant when it got to me. Um, and this vine has just continued to grow was not this long. Um, we've got some new, some new, I'm not going to touch them, but some new leaf points on there, on that node, and then this node, it just kind of keeps on going. Good job, little Salata. Not much really to say about this one. It was, you know, one of the less expensive uh, species for sale on their website, and I really like it. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, this one is kind of in the category of one of the Hoyas that I'm really considering repotting pretty soon because mainly because of the vine. It tends to be a little bit top heavy. Uh, I don't know if there are actually roots coming out of the bottom yet, but that's something else I look for. Like, is it stable in its pot and are there roots coming out of the bottom? That's a, a good determinant of, of whether or not I'm going to repot it. And it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be a huge difference in size. I think the pots that I have are probably the three and a half inch pots. So it would probably be an inch bigger, which is what is recommended. If you're going to size up on a pot, you'll go try not to go more than an inch, um, an inch diameter larger. All right, next one over, of course, I'm going to share this with you. It's my, uh, my Hoya Dacyantha. And this beast has just continued to do things since I got it. It was just a really strong and large and healthy cutting. Uh, when it got to me and it still has all the leaves it came with it's working on a few more up here yep and that vine just keeps going <laughs> it's like every day this thing gets maybe a half an inch to an inch longer so this is another one that I am considering um, getting into a better pot because it's like it's it's so unwieldy and top heavy in my hand even just sitting here I can feel it it would just be a lot more stable in a larger pot and I think I do even see some roots poking out of the bottom there so this is a good candidate for a repot I love these leaves god they're just so like ugh beautiful. Okay, next one. This is a wish list Hoya for me. This is Hoya Marillii. And again, this one, you know, it came, my first order from Secret Garden was kind of blew my mind because the Hoya, I'm going to show you one more um, that came in that order and it was just enormous. It was the it was the Dacyantha and this other one that, <laughs> just the size of the plants were mind-blowing to me a little bit. But then um, Marillii was kind of more of a size that I was expecting. So this kind of was in line for what I was paying for it and what I thought, you know, that was going to entail. Uh, but I'm pleased to say that Marillii has a new growth point new growth point and it looks like maybe two a new leaf unfurling and a new growth a new vine so that's cool so happy to see that with these and really they've been hanging out under this aspect grow light that's their main light source is this artificial aspect grow light it's probably I want to say like 36 inches from the table surface from where they are they're getting 
just some really solid light and they're they're happy with it so as long as they're happy and actively growing i you know these smaller ones especially i might just kind of let them be for a bit uh, the larger ones that are top heavy that's kind of that that's a factor i take into consideration because i want them to be stable i don't want them to fall out of their pots or you know tip over and you know this is a pretty substantial plant to have to feed with this much soil so these smaller ones this one the elliptica i feel like would be okay hanging out in their two and a half inch pots for a little bit longer um, so that's really where my mind is at with these i think this one i'll probably hang on to i'm going to keep a close eye on one of these that i'm going to show you in a second because it's been a little temperamental but in any case, Marillia is looking great. Okay, next one over is my Hoya Acuta Variegata. And this one came to me as a single leaf. And it was a decent sized vine. It was, you know, probably about there. Maybe had one node on the vine. And again, this one is a surprising one for me. Um, the vine has kind of taken off, got some aerial roots on there. It's gotten a few more nodes. It's probably a good 18 inches long, I'd say. Still just have the one leaf, but I do have a grow point right there. So that looks like at this point just a leaf and then we do have still actively you know active growth on this vine so this is another one again considering it's a little bit top heavy and definitely see some roots coming out of that one so I think this one's a good candidate for a repot and an upgrade all right guys <laughs> wish lister right here this little baby I'm a little bit scared to touch because I've heard how temperamental it can be but as you can see got some new growth going I think there's also under this leaf yeah that's the active grow point right there I have one right there too. So I have two active grow points on it right now. My opinion for this one is really I wanted it to stabilize because it got to me and it seemed okay and then it dropped a couple of the older leaves kind of down around the base. They turned yellow and fell off. And again, it's one of those things I'm just really paying attention to the water on this one and I'm really kind of paying attention to what it's telling me um, so this one I'm going to be cautious with. I am going to kind of leave it alone in the pot until I feel like it has stabilized to the point where I could probably get away with putting it in different soil. But again, this indicates right here, new baby leaves, that Lisa might not be too mad anymore. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, this is a wishless plant for me. I've wanted this one for a very long time. Okay, next one is a Hoya Parasitica. This one was one that, like, it, the price point on it wasn't insane, so I put it, I included it in an order of, I think it was even the Lisa, that I was like, yeah, I'll just make it worth my time and I'll get a less expensive Hoya and just have another Hoya. So I got Parasitica and this one's done pretty well. Like the, the, le the, the leaves look relatively healthy. There's just this one that kind of freaked me out a little bit when I, when it got to me. But I, again, I haven't seen any, any pests on it. It's been just kind of doing the thing. Um, and I've been keeping a close eye on this leaf, you know, ready to chop it if need be. But it seems pretty stable. No changes there. 
just might be some random damage or I don't know. And then, yeah, we've got another growth point there on Parasitica. So stable, not as quick to put out, you know, shoots as some of these other ones were. Um, but, you know, I might consider repotting this one too, just because it is stable. Okay, and the last one I have to show today is this beautiful variegated Hoya obovata, also known as Hoya obovata picta. This one is extremely top heavy, so I will be repotting this one. And as you can see, there are roots kind of poking out on the surface of the soil. So I definitely think, yeah, you can also see down there, got roots. This one's ready. So these two leaves were babies. They were just kind of forming they hadn't even hardened off yet when I unboxed this Hoya. And these top two leaves right here, right here, are now almost as big as the mature leaves. So I think this one is oh, super top heavy <laughs> and ready to be repotted. And there is the growth point on it. So yeah, can't wait to see what this one does. It's so pretty. I love this thing. So pretty. All right, guys. That is kind of my mini tour and update of these Hoya that I have collected from Secret Garden Rare Plants. They're overall doing very, very, very well. Solid growers. And definitely, I would say one, two, three, four. Four, I'm definitely repotting, um, probably within the next week. Um, my Salata, my Desiantha here, the Acuta Vergata, and the uh, Obovata Picta, possibly the Parasitica, we'll see. Um, definitely getting repotted relatively soon, just for the sheer reason that they will likely be more stable in larger pots. Some of them definitely are out, outgrowing their two and a half inches. They're ready. They have roots coming out of the bottom. And I think the size of the plants too just indicates that they could use a little bit more nutritional support um, in the form of compost and soil. And uh, we'll just get them into a little bit bigger space. See what they do. Thanks guys for kind of joining me on this conclusion uh, of my previous video. If you haven't caught that one yet, I will make sure that's linked in the cards for you. I will also make sure um, to put it in the description below. And let me know in the comments if you want to leave a comment. You know, if you've, if you've shopped with Secret Garden before, what kind of Hoyas you've purchased from them, or plants in general. They have other plants besides Hoyas, but, um, you know, if you purchased from them, how your experience was, uh, and yeah, just let me know um, how, you, how you think they did, because I have a pretty solid opinion of them right now. And I will definitely keep you posted on what Hoya are <laughs> currently on their way to me. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe if you liked what you saw and if you'd like to follow me on more adventures with my Hoya and my other plants. And then definitely, you know, enjoy your plants. Take care of them. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Yeah, until next time. Thanks for coming by.